Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here, and today I will be teaching you guys how to make your Android smartphone run faster and smoother. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so first up we have Clean Master. So right off the bat, when you open up the app, uh, you are immediately prompted with the screen. So you have junk files, privacy, tasks, and app manager. By going into junk files, you are able to see and also clean your cache and residual files. Next up is privacy. In here, you can clean all of your searched items, call logs, passwords, accounts, and much, much more. The tasks part is just like your regular recents bar in Android. Last but not least is the app manager. Here, you can uninstall apps and also back them up. Although I have no idea how this stacks up to titanium backup. Second up in the list is RAM Manager. There are many RAM widgets out there, but this is the one that happens to come with Super Manager. With Nova Launcher, you are able to resize it and practically put it anywhere on your home screen. To use, you just simply have to tap on it, wait, and it tells you how much RAM was released and how much you have right now. It truly helps the overall performance of your phone. Third up on the list is the one and only Nova Launcher. Like with the RAM manager widgets, there are also many aftermarket launchers out there. Personally, I prefer Nova just because it is extremely stable, fluid, and also fast. As you can see, there is absolutely no lag when I flip through home screens and the app drawer. Not only is Nova faster than the stock launcher, but it also comes with a whole bunch of extra settings that can help you to better customize your home screens and apps. Overall, Nova Launcher is a great alternative to the stock launcher that Android usually comes with. Fourth up is one of my favorites, and that is custom ROMs. Currently, I'm running AOKP, but there are many other ROMs that you can download and flash. This is one of the options on the list that requires root. Once you get past the scary process of rooting and flashing, it is amazing. You get amazing extra features and exceptional performance that is not found in stock Android. Many of the extra features that are found in these ROMs are in settings under the ROM control tab. Here you can find a slew of extra things you can do to modify your Android experience. Overall, flashing a custom ROM is great for exceptional performance and customizability. Last but not least is overclocking. Like a custom ROM, this requires root. But again, once you get through the scary process of rooting, it's all good. With overclocking, you can either make your processor faster or slower. Underclocking it will cause it to lag a little bit more, but will allow the battery to last longer. Overclocking it though, will cause it to be faster but will make the phone overheat and cause the battery to drain much faster. 
You also have the ability to choose your own governor. Personally, I pick on demand for the best performance. With AOKP though, you can check your voltage settings, advanced settings, time and state, and CPU info, which can be useful at times. And yeah, those were the top five ways on how to make your Android smartphone faster and smoother. Be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in on the next video. Peace.